we're going to look at the bones of the vertebral column. And the first seven vertebrae up here in the neck are called the cervical vertebrae. The next 12 are called the thoracic vertebrae, okay? And then our lower five are called the lumbar vertebrae. These are the intervertebral discs. These are the intervertebral foramen, okay? Foramina, that is where the um, spinal nerves exit the spinal cord. And then we have the sacrum here. Five fused vertebrae make up the sacrum. And then the coccyx is four fused vertebrae. Okay, I'm gonna do, this is the um, sternum. It's made up of three parts that were once separate bones until fused. The manubrium, the body, the xiphoid process. This is costal cartilage, okay, that attaches to each rib. Okay, there are 12 pairs of ribs. Um, and then we'll look at the three different types of vertebrae. We have, this is a cervical um, vertebra, or vertebra, yeah, notice how small and dainty. This one that looks like a giraffe is a thoracic vertebra. And this one that looks like a moose is a lumbar vertebra. Notice how much larger its body is. And for each of these, we wanna be able to label the body, the spinous process, transverse processes, um, the vertebral foramen, okay, which is the hole in the center, the pedicle, okay, here, and the lamina, okay, here, by the spinous process. And then this one also has transverse foramina, little holes here for um, arteries, okay? The other ones don't have those. Okay, and we will do the scapula, um, the scapula, this is the back of the scapula. This is the spine, okay? At the tip of the spine, we have the acromion process. Um, we have the supraspinous fossa here. We have the um, infraspinous fossa here. We will label the glenoid fossa or glenoid cavity. That's where the head of the humerus articulates. And then on the front, we have the coracoid process. This would be a right, okay, because from the back, that's where the um, ball and um, socket joint would be for the arm. Okay, we can do um, this, by the way, um, it's a clavicle, okay, S-shaped bone. This is the humerus, um, and on the humerus, we will label the head of the humerus. We will label the greater tubercle, the lesser tubercle, okay, we will come down, this is the long, the shaft of the bone, the long part, and um, this is the front, okay, the back is gonna have a larger carved out area, okay, on the front, we have the condyles, okay, those are the wearing surfaces, the medial condyle is called the trochlea, the lateral condyle is called the capitulum, and then we have the lateral um, epicondyle and the medial epicondyle above the wearing surfaces. Um, on the front, we have the coronoid fossa, and on the back, we have the olecranon fossa.